Well, hello everybody in Principles of Accounting for Healthcare. Hey, I thought I would check in with you. Uh, right now we are finishing up, as I'm shooting this, you guys are just finishing up Module 5. We got done with the midterm last week and I'll talk about that in just a moment. We're getting ready to enter really the, the, the end of the course, kind of winding this up. So I thought uh, as we start to enter the last couple modules of the course that I put this section up here, this news and update area, if that we have any last minute changes or clarifications just to improve the, the communication again as we complete the course. So in this area that you see here with this video, this is now your new landing page when you go into the course. So the first thing you see when you go into the course is going to be this. I ask that you just quickly pause and make sure there's no new, uh, no new news updates in this area before you go on and do your modules. Okay. So just, you know, quick, we see if I sometimes I'll post uh, it usually is a video or there might be some other link in there but just take a second before you move on to your module to see what I've got in here it's usually to your benefit I'm usually changing something or maybe adding an extra credit assignment or who knows what um, I'm usually not adding work <laughs> so uh, please check this area again it's to uh, to your benefit all right, and then just quick updates as uh, as we just got done kind of the midpoint of the course. You're in in module five right now. You completed the midterm. Uh, excellent job on the midterm. Uh, five uh, or over half of the class has uh, has scores of ninety or higher on the midterm. So I think you figured out that a lot of those questions are just recycled from those really difficult quizzes. Remember, the quizzes are the hard part of this course, and it's designed that way. But the course is designed for you to get an A pretty easily as long as you just kind of do the work. Uh, even if your quiz grade isn't at A quality, there's all kinds of other stuff, other points. Don't leave those other points, you know, off the table. Grab those other points, do all those other assignments, and you're going to be just fine, you know, just fine in the course. As I mentioned uh, to some of you in, in your progress journals, I know there was a concern there always is a concern about, you know, uh, those quiz grades and, you know, it feels like you're not going to get the A or the B or the whatever the grade is that you want. Uh, but again, don't worry. Most of you, um, you know, you'll do fine as long as you just do the work and make sure you get all of your assignments in and don't have any zeros in the grade book. It works itself all the way out. I did mention to many of you there will be an extra credit opportunity, at least one, maybe two, uh, before the course is over. So if you need it, those points will be there. But quite honestly, in most cases, I mean, I've done this course, I don't know, this particular version of this course, maybe 15, 20 times. Most people don't need the points, but it's there if you want it. A little security blanket. If you want to lock, make sure you got, you got that A locked in. So it shouldn't be uh, um, too difficult for you to, to uh, get those extra points if you want. Down the road, stay tuned. That'll probably be in Module 7 uh, for sure. I'll... I'll um, give you some extra credit opportunities there. All right, so there is that. Again, the performance on the midterm, really, really good. The um, really impressed with the learning activities that you're doing, those one page, especially when we're doing those, um, those uh, two page uh, kind of concept papers. You guys are doing really good on that. If you did get a few points off on it, it's usually because you don't have enough content there. So just make sure that you've got enough content that you're addressing the topic sufficiently. That's usually about one and a half pages, you know, of meaningful content, not just, you know, fluff. <laughs> meaningful content, about one and a half pages. And these topics are so broad that it's pretty low hanging fruit to get to one and a half pages. Um, so again, you might gotten some points off on that. The majority of you do are doing absolutely fantastic and getting full points uh, for that assignment. And the other area where you might have gotten some points off is if, um, you're not using enough references or citing your material. Uh, again, just look at the rubric and see, I have a grading rubric in there. If you got some points off on that, that's usually in that, uh, in, in that area. So, but I can tell many of you have had um, exposure to APA and are definitely applying those principles, trying to apply those principles in these papers. So great, great job there. Keep that up and you'll be golden all the way through to the end of the course. All right, so that addresses that. Um, so that's pretty much it. So uh, today, as I shoot this video, it's Valentine's Day. So happy Valentine's Day to everybody. Everybody have a great Valentine's Day weekend. And remember again to check this area for any news and updates uh, before you jump into the module.
Oh, and one last thing, I did put my cell phone number down below here, so you can see my, my cell phone number. If you have any questions, especially those short order questions, please text me. It's the, actually my preferred method to communicate with students. So I can get back to you. It's the quickest way I can get back to you. Uh, only a couple of you have reached out through email, um, but for the most part, it's been pretty quiet, pretty smooth going, but I don't want to assume that you don't have any questions. So, you know, let's just bring the cell phone number out there. Again, I have students from all over my other classes use that, uh, so don't be bashful. Uh, if the question is a little bit longer and detailed, email might be better, or even, you know, we schedule a time to talk over the phone. But 90% of the questions are usually short order and can be done with a quick uh, text or two. Uh, and I can usually get back to you within a few minutes, uh, unless I'm, you know, with the kids or driving, and I do tend to go to bed early, but uh, uh, it is the quickest way for me to get back to you. So there it is, cell phone number if you want it. All right, everybody have a great weekend, and I'll check in with you next week. Thanks.